Are you ready for some religion? I hope you brought your Bibles. I don't know about the rest of you boys that grew up in the church, but that was my first problem, is I seen Jesus on the cross because Jesus was hot. When I came out of the closet, oh my God, I made up for lost time. I was the biggest slut you have ever seen. A lot of dicks were not nine and a half. Like, how do you measure? Like, from your asshole up? I mean, I don't understand why anybody would be coming over for sex saying, I'm nine and a half, and they're like, Asian. I see a midget, I know I'm gonna have good luck. It's like finding a four-leaf clover for me. I mean, the only thing I love better is amputees. Here's why I don't wash my hands. Because I found this article stoned one night, and it said that our hands are the dirtiest parts of our bodies. So parents, when you're teaching your little boys to wash their hands, we're, it's all wrong, it's reversed. You need to teach them to wash their dicks. But don't do it publicly, because people stare. I hate fat, homeless people. And I really hate it when they're holding a sign that says, we'll work for food. I want to go up to them and say, hey, you've worked enough. Okay. Let's break it down for the little Palin slut. <laughs> Bristol, your virginity was not stolen. You traded your pussy for a four pack of Bartles and James. <laughs> oh, the Christians are mad at me, that's good. If the Christians get mad, I know I'm doing my job. My number one reason that I love being gay is I don't have to eat pussy anymore. <laughs> God, I was such a failure at eating pussy. But I am a great cocksucker. You are twisted and I love you.